Alright everyone, how you doing? I am Mark, thank you for watching, and this is my weekly predictions video on the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, last week, four games, I went two and two. I got the uh, the LA games and the Tampa Bay games, I got them flip-flopped. I said the Sabres would lose to Los Angeles and they won, and I said they would just wipe out Tampa Bay and they lost a close one. But anyway, another week, another dollar, so we're going to move on to the next week. All right, Thanksgiving week coming up here. Uh, there's gonna be no games on Thanksgiving. Only two games this week. Only two. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. There's three games next week. Three games. I apologize. All right. First up, Wednesday, November 24th, at home, 7 p.m. against the Pittsburgh Penguins. I really don't have to describe the Penguins. A lot of you hockey fans already know the Penguins, but for those of you who don't, here's the synopsis. Crosby, Malkin, Stahl, great players. Fleury is a great goaltender. They're getting great goaltending from Brent Johnson. Okay, they have it all. They have great depth. They made some great um, defensive signings. They grabbed uh, Zimnik Mahalik and Paul Martin. And they made some great moves. They did lose Gonchar, but I think they replaced him very well. They still have Brooks Orpik. Uh, he's actually from Amherst, pretty close to where I live. But um, Pittsburgh has a very good team. The Sabres historically have been about 500 with Pittsburgh. Last year, I think they were two to two. They were one two and one against Pittsburgh last year. They did lose three games, but they did get the loser point in one of them. Um, with the way Buffalo has been playing, they need to find their scoring. Okay, Thomas Vanek, what, I'm amazed at that move by Thomas Vanek. That was a great, he got just absolutely crushed, but he, then he gets up, gets back in the play, and fires it home for a goal, even with his mouth bleeding, okay? That is a that is a good hockey move right there, and I applaud him for that one. A round of applause, I applaud him for that one. So, um, they need more scoring than just Thomas Vanek. They need more lines to start scoring, and the defense has been scoring a lot of goals for them, but I think the forwards need to chip into that as well. Um, at the present state, I think the Sabres lose this game 4-2. to two. Um, Once again, as I mentioned, the score is ambiguous, but I think the Sabres, while they do have a very strong chance of winning this game, I think the 1-2 punch of Crosby Malkin and then the great goaltending of Flurry and Brent Johnson, along with a very stellar defense for the Pittsburgh Penguins, is just going to be too much for the Sabres. It'll be overwhelming, and Pittsburgh will probably win by two or three. Miller should play that game. I'm going to start trying to guess the goaltender, which uh, should be pretty easy. It'll probably be Miller in 90% of them, but I think Miller plays that game. Friday, November 26th, at home, 7.30 p.m. versus the Maple Leafs. All right, so the Sabres have, uh, have always done great against the Maple Leafs. I believe they they uh, they swept last year, the Maple Leafs, 6-0. And uh, I believe they played the Maple Leafs this year. I believe they won. I'm not going to be totally certain about that. I believe they won. Um, I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm almost positive, but hey. You know, um, I don't remember that far back in the past. But uh, the Maple Leafs, they're one of those teams that, that um, you can't really tell. Okay, the Maple Leafs, at the beginning of the season, they started really hot. 4-0, 5-1. They were on top of the Northeast Division. They were even, for I think like three or four days, on top of the Eastern Conference. And one day, one day they were on top of the league. That was the second day of the year they were on top of the league. But um, now they're right around where they should be, right around the cellar of the division. They're out of the playoff hunt. They're in about 13th place right now. They've really dropped off from where they have been. And that's because their scoring has fallen asleep. Just like the Buffalo Sabres, their scoring has not fallen asleep. The thing is, the difference between Buffalo and Toronto is that Toronto does not have Ryan Miller. That is the one reason. Should Toronto have Ryan Miller, Toronto will be where Buffalo is. Buffalo will be where Toronto is. Okay? Ryan Miller is pretty much keeping these guys alive right now. Him, maybe the defense scoring, that has helped a lot. But I think without Ryan Miller, the Sabres are where Toronto is right now. That is the reason why Toronto's in 13th. I mean, they pretty much are the same as the Sabres. They can't score. However, their defense can't really, their defense can't really score. 
but then it's the goaltending. Joe Sebastian Jaguar, not a bad goaltender, but he he really hasn't been good since uh, since Anaheim won the cup. Okay, when, when he beat Anaheim pr to win the cup, he was a stellar goaltender in that season, but since then has not been good, and going to Toronto has really ruined his career. Um, the backup, Giannis Gustafson, I don't think he's all that Toronto's hyped him up to be. I think that's another case of Brian Burke uh, overhyping one of his players. Wouldn't be the first time. But I don't think Jonas, Enro or Jonas Gustafson is up to snuff. Um, that's really a tough one, but, but, I, but because I think it's going to be a home game, I really think... I really think Miller's going to play. I think Miller's going to play that game for the fact that it's a home game. Um... That and you have um if I look at the I'm gonna look farther into the schedule here. Oh, well, I can't really say that. Because um after the Saturday game they don't play the next Friday. So um I'm still saying Miller. I know that it may seem crazy with um the they, them playing Montreal the next night. Sorry for the spoiler. But I think because it's a home game, I think he'll do it. I think Laleem has a Decent record career-wise against Montreal, but Buff, or, excuse me, but Miller has always, always, always owned Toronto. He is just, he owns Toronto. I predict the Sabers win three to two. And finally, Saturday, November twenty-seventh, on the road at seven p.m. versus Montreal. All right, Montreal is, I believe, right around the middle of the division, right around, uh, right around eighth place for the playoff spot. Um, once again, I mentioned them earlier in the year that Montreal has always been known for their power play, not so much this year. Montreal has, if you on paper, they look like they have a good defense core, but really they're, they're all old. Okay, Spachek. Spachek, 36 years old. You got Gill, who's like 35-ish. Mara, who I think is 35-ish. I mean, their one bright's got P.K. Subban. He looks like a decent player, but I have I have not sold on Subban. So I can't really say anything about him. Um, their goaltending, Carey Price, he's been good this year. I don't know who the backup is. I should know, but I don't know who the backup is. But you got to figure Carey Price is going to play in this game. Um, Carey Price always seems to do well against Buffalo. Um, any other team, he's not, he's mediocre, but he plays Buffalo. It's like, it's like Josh Harding playing Buffalo. Minnesota goals hate Josh Harding. I mean, that no-name from Mon Minnesota, like, second or third string goaltender Josh Harding is like 6-0 and career against Buffalo with three shutouts. He owns Buffalo. I mean, they'll, they call him up just for that game. I know they did that a couple years ago, but hey. Um, not too much on this game. I'm not too familiar with Montreal's game this year, other than they do have a decent offense. I know Kostitsin's doing okay. Um, their defense is a little old, but they do have Subban, so they do have a little bit of, um, a little bit of rookie talent in there. Um, I don't know which way I want to go with this, but I think with the way everything has been going, I think with Montreal's always being good on the power play, I think Buffalo loses this game 4-3 to three overtime. Um... I just don't think the Sabres can pull it out. I think they'll get the loser point, but I don't think they'll pull it out. So there we have it. Three games this week. I have the Sabres going 1-1-1, uh, one, one, and one, I believe. I have them beating... Uh, I have them losing to the Penguins on Wednesday, beating the Maple Leafs on Friday, and losing to the Canadians on Saturday. You can possibly take that to the bank. Um, but I've done a whole bunch of predictions now. I've only been wrong, what, four times? Four times? I've only been wrong four times. That's a that's pretty good considering they've played 22 games, only four out of 22, so not too shabby. All right, um, I'm gonna try and wrap this up right now. Just want to say thanks for watching. Have a good one. Um, I'm gonna have an, another video up. Um, I was drinking a lot of soda, and I was like a crazy general manager person, so that's gonna be a little freaky. But I hope you like it. Have a good one.